animated movies have always been a bit of a mixed bag. From memorable classics like Toy Story, Finding Nemo, or Into the Spider-Verse, or hilarious meme material like Shrek or Kung Fu Panda, animated movies have always had their fair share of the spotlight. But over the past 20 years or so, there have been a wide array of a special type of animated movies. Terrible ones. Today, I have decided to take 10 of these terrible, disgusting abominations and risk my life in reviewing every single one of them. Welcome to the top 10 worst animated movies of all time. Number 10, Shark Tale. 2004 was a great year for animated movies. While Polar Express got mixed reviews on its motion capture, it was certainly a great film otherwise, and it set the standard in what was possible in those years. The Incredibles was just a cult classic in terms of brilliant Pixar movies, and many find it to be their favorite Pixar or even Disney movie of all time. And the first SpongeBob movie will always be one of my all-time guilty pleasures, even if it is loved by pretty much everyone. But 2004 was also the year another movie was released, that movie being Shark Tale. Shark Tale is the definition of pandering to the lowest common denominator to make a profit, and oh did they make it. This movie made $367 million at the box office, starred famous YouTuber Will Smith, yeah. and even got nominated for Best Animated Feature. Let's get one thing straight, this movie is terrible. Not only did they cash in on every famous pop culture icon at the time, but they even managed to convince the Oscars to nominate them. This movie's atmosphere looks like it was set in the pile of trash they collected on the side of the lake, rather than the beautiful setting of Underwater. Finding Nemo, which was released just a year before, looks stunning, but this movie looks really garbage. I think some characters were animated with some motion capture because some of them look like they're actors, but even if it was, it wouldn't look any less garbage. Oscar the main character is an unlikable shell of a character and we have no reason to root for a success. You know, the entire point of a protagonist. And in terms of plot, this movie fails hard. Jablinski, why were you in this, my man? Number 9, Minions. The more we've evolved as a species, the more I've come to realize that money has become the sole intention of movies nowadays. With Disney making five films to reach a billion dollars in a year, we've got to have money. And animated movies grossing literally billions of the hundreds of sequels that exist. Illumination Entertainment's only motivation for making movies is money. Nothing else, just money. With bland characters, terrible rehash plots, sad comedy, and only really good animation, Illumination is a terrible company with only the bank in mind. Minions is the fourth film in the Despicable Me franchise, I guess, and there's even a sequel set to come out in 2020. This movie, just like Cars 2, kicks the comic relief and shoves it in your face! Let me just say, I'd rather have a hundred meters, but of these annoying little piles of excrement. Minions were the worst part of the latter two Despicable Me movies, and they decided to take those and give them their own movie. WHY?! MONEY! Number 8, Mars Needs Moms. Remember the Polar Express? Remember how it was an impeccable story and one of the best 2000s movies to date? Remember how the only flaw with it was its use of motion capture and how uncanny it looked in many scenes? Remember how motion capture costs more than live action and animation and how it almost always looks worse than both? Well, I think knowing all that info, we should make a motion capture movie with a lackluster and boring plot with characters that look and act nothing like real people and have our movie be based on Mars. That sure would get the big bucks. But oh wait, unlike like most of the films here, this movie actually had a budget, and it even made remarkable cash at the box office. And it's a Disney movie! Oh well, I guess that's that. Number 7, Elf Bowling the Movie. Elf Bowling, a game produced by Ensorm in 1999, a game that has amazing reviews like, this game helped me pull through my relationship with my parents, it made me appreciate them when they beat me daily, got a movie over 8 years later. Titled Elf Bowling the Movie The Great North Pole Elf Strike, this movie is the most unnecessary thing to ever exist. Next thing you know, we're gonna have a Tetris movie, where we get the story of the auto one out Tetris block who has a hard time finding his place and makes friends along the way. Seriously though, this movie was never a big deal as far as I'm aware, and there's no reason why this should exist. Worse than that, this came out 8 years too late and also sucks in every way. The animation, as we've established multiple times throughout this list, is ugly and terrible, and I didn't even watch until half an hour in because it was just so unbearably boring to get through. Just a mess. Number 6, Rhapsody Street Kids Believe in Santa. This movie is embarrassingly bad. While it doesn't come off as an intentionally terrible movie, it still has a lot of problems. The first and largest of these problems is the animation, or rather, whatever the frick you'd call this. The character design 
hands are so awful, down to the terrifying faces and movement of them all. When they walk, they look like they're floating. When they talk, they look like E.T. if he swallowed sandpaper 17 times and got hit in the head about 50. When they laugh, they look like demonic seizure-induced monsters. Textures are just non-existent, and it's clear that a lot of the assets were taken from their places. 3D and 2D don't blend at all, and it's just a pain to look at. There are lots of scenes where nothing happens, and none of the characters feel original or new at all. The plot is so hard to follow because it is so freaking slow, and everything here is just a bore to get through. While it doesn't look intentionally garbage, it can still be unintentionally garbage. Shut that door! Number 5, Food Fight. Food Fight is probably the saddest and scariest thing to ever be classified as a movie. Released in 2012, this movie is estimated to have a production budget of 45 to 65 million dollars. For reference, the first Toy Story had a budget of 30 million dollars. I have no idea what that money went towards. For starters, this movie only made 73 thousand dollars, which is kind of impossible with that big of a budget. This movie's animation looks horrendously scary, which is kind of sad with that big of a budget. Nothing in this movie looks or sounds good at all, which is kind of sad with that big of a budget. What did this movie go towards? Besides casting Charlie Sheen, which is actually pretty funny if you think about it, this movie's budget was a complete waste. Just opening your eyes and watching this movie for 5 minutes reveals just how atrocious the animation is. I mean, it looks like a cutscene from a 90s PlayStation game or something. Whoever was drunk enough to say this movie was in any way a success or even good at all should be fired from ever judging anything else in history. Number 4, The Little Panda Fighter. The Little Panda Fighter is ironically my favorite movie of all time. Watching this movie back for the first time after a few years made me realize just how great this film was to watch ironically. But to be honest, this is a pile of garbage. The way the characters speak in this movie is so fast that it just might be the most greatest thing that I'll see on television to point out shut down in Southern County, and then when they need to, they slow down. I'm pretty sure that's because this was made by the Brazilian film company Video Brinquedo, which is famous for making low tier ripoffs of famous movies, thus they have to dub over the Brazilian dialogue, but it's done so poorly that I could literally do better recording on the side of the highway at rush hour. If your eyes have been closed for the past few seconds, you might not have come to realize this is a ripoff of the amazing Kung Fu Panda, which came out only 5 months before this pile of garbage did. Not only does the poster look nearly identical to Kung Fu Panda, but even trying to classify this Adobe After Effects mutant creature as a panda is doing pandas a huge disservice. Why does the animation in this movie look like trash? Why? Why did the characters move like that? And why did the assets for this movie look like they were taken from a free to use stock animation website from 1987? The plot is so unbearably terrible and hard to follow, and the characters are so badly done that it seems more like a mockery than a parody. And yes, those are slightly different. Uh, ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> Number 3, Norma the North. From the brilliantly stupid mind of Hollywood legend Rob Schneider, you got the 2016 film Norma the North. And this $30 million box office was apparently so impressive they decided to make two more films to pad out this trilogy. This movie is probably the laziest thing I've ever seen. The plot makes no sense, our main character is unlikable and doesn't even eat meat even though he would never live if that happened. No character in this movie has any impact with some of them even getting one freaking line and this movie has its own minions. Yes, in the form of these gargantuanly obnoxious lemmings, this movie thinks it can give Despicable Me a run for its money. Oh wait, the Minions movie made over a billion dollars at the box office. So where does that leave this movie? In the gutter where it belongs. This was animated by the same people from the Barbie movies. That just explains so much. A lot of the characters here move in really weird and uncanny ways, and it looks like there were some rendering issues from the version that I saw. We have multiple characters here who are supposedly important, even though they do nothing to impact the story and only really say one or two jokes. And oh, that's the funny part. As a comedy, this movie fails hard. No joke here is remotely funny, and no scene is remotely entertaining. And oh, I almost forgot the non-carnivorous polar bear in the room. This movie blatantly rips off Happy Feet, Minions, and even Lion King in some scenes. And does it mean to say that all three of those films, including the mediocre Happy Feet and Terrible Minions, are a hundred times better than this? Because they are. Number two, Emoji Movie. Ah yes, the most hated film of 2017, and probably the 2010s in general, is this abomination. While the Emoji Movie, or should I say the Candy Crush commercial, isn't bad in a technical sense like garbage animation, shock and gross head, or other blatant things, it manages to be the most pandering and unoriginal thing to ever exist. It copies pretty much every animated movie from the past 20 years, from Inside Out to Wreck-It Ralph to even the Lego movie. Three films that are infinitely more enjoyable to watch than this. Apart from being a 90 minute ad for some phone games, apps, and emojis, the Emoji Movie is a pandering and garbage excuse from the concept alone, being about the most shallow and basic thing that you could ever base a movie on. Humans have etched language for a reason, and emojis are just a cookie cutter and shallow way for people to communicate. So from the get-go, it's not an easy concept to get right. And apart from the animation 
Alien, which actually looks pretty good. This movie has a superficial plot with terrible characters, a boring soundtrack, lackluster voice acting, with only one merit seeming to be great, and that's the advertising that made this 200 freaking million dollars. Just meh. And now, before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Cars 2. Don't get me wrong, comic relief is great. When they bounce off the main character, it can mix for some pretty decent comedy. But when it doesn't, we get stuff like Planet Sheen or Patrick Center Spongebob episodes. And this movie has had Smader as the main protagonist here, even though that's the rookie mistake on a basic level. This movie is also not funny at all. The animation looks very dull, just like the first, and the story is really boring to get through. Not the worst Pixar movie, but at least films like Good Dinosaur actually look decent. This movie fails from the start and has nothing new to this franchise. The only redeeming thing in this was Lemons Trolland, ugliest animated movie ever. And number one, Where the Dead Go to Die. This is the worst animated, if not the worst movie ever. This movie. Is it even fair to call this a movie? In a world where we have such masterpieces as the classic Pixar movies, or even Christopher Nolan's impeccable collage of films, we also have this abomination. Not only is this movie bad, it's insultingly bad. I usually don't like to name people off when doing these reviews, but at this point I don't care in the slightest. Jimmy Screamerclaws is the director of this literal nightmare. I don't know how high or how drunk or how mean-spirited or freaking maniacal you have to be to make this, but my god, you did it my friend. This is the scariest horror movie of all time. I wouldn't even call it horror, but it directly implies that from the get-go. Talking about plot, characters, or animation is a joke at this point, because this movie fails on a far different level. Please, if you're watching this video, do not watch this movie. Don't be curious, it is the most disturbing and disgusting thing you will ever see. Don't support this movie and even talking bad about it. The only reason I'm doing it is so you don't have to. No, no, this? This is what you make when you're bitter. Well, let me just tell you something, Jimmy Scrimmerclaws. I hope you never make another film again. I was gonna say something a little more crude, but then I realized this video might get taken down because I have so much anger towards this movie! I guess topping off the list was enough to support this movie in some way, but honestly, I don't care. The sole intention is to be shocking, and if you want to get shocked, be my guest. You'll never unsee it though, I can tell you that much. Thank you for watching this video, please don't support these movies in any way, and just trust me when I say that they are bad. Of course opinions are opinions and I don't expect you to agree with me, but just know that regardless. If you enjoyed this list, try suggesting more lists for me to do in the future. And be sure to follow me on Twitter to be up to date on the channel, and join my Discord server to have fun chatting with me and other members. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you ladies and jellyfish in the next one. Ciao! Time.